More breaking inputs also coming in on the story. According to sources, the suspect uh, has been uh, is being handed over to the Kerala police and he is said to be a resident of Delhi. Remember, he is not cooperating with the investigation or answering questions that have been posed by the local police, the ATS or even the Kerala police. And now he is being handed over to the Kerala police and they would be deciding whether uh, his transit remand needs to be sought. According to sources, the Kerala police has said that they plan to reach the local court within 24 hours. Uh, he has been severely injured. Uh, we are playing out these visuals as well of the picture of the suspect in the case. He was said to be injured when he was traveling in another train and then jumped. Uh, my colleague Shivani uh, joining us over the phone line with the details. Uh, she's joining us live on the broadcast. Shivani, what are the details that the officials have received until now? We understand that he is still not cooperating, has not really answered any of the questions posed by the officials? Well, interestingly, if we uh, tell our viewers how this entire uh, travel of uh, this particular person has been uh, probed, then uh, it is said that he was injured when he was traveling in another train and jumped down in the train in the Khed area of uh, Maharashtra. And there in the local people over there called the ambulance through 102 number. And then he was taken to the nearby civic body hospital. And then it was found the Kerala police as well and their intelligence that this suspect uh, is traveling in Maharashtra and at that particular time the calls were made. The Kerala police immediately interacted. Uh, the ATS of Maharashtra, they also communicated with the local police and the local police team reached there. Meanwhile, the Kerala police also reached Maharashtra and they were posted at the Ratnagiri railway station between 11.30 to 12 a.m. of uh, uh, time in the night and then uh, he was caught red-handed over there while traveling and hiding himself. Uh, though there are inputs those were also received to brought him up uh, to the Ratnagiri and that is where the Kerala police met the Ratnagiri police. Immediately after that the questioning also started though he severely injured but the police tried to take primary information through him but uh, he has clearly denied answering any of those questions. Now it, is, it still remains to see that how are they going to take him back to the Kerala because within 24 hours uh, is what something Kerala police is planning to take him back to the Kerala and produce him before the court to take his uh, uh, custody to probe him for the, but uh, he severely injured so uh, ambulance service is something that they are focusing right now to be arranged at the moment but yes at the moment the person is not really uh, helping out or, clarif or clarifying anything to the Ratnagiri police to the ATS or also uh, to the Kerala police is the residence of Delhi NCR is what has been found but yes of course that he jumped out of a train in Khed area he was severely injured his head is something uh, that has uh, huge injuries and then he was admitted to the hospital where his treatment was going on and this particular input has led to his arrest at the moment of time though the cops have clearly said that his role is yet not clear because he is yet not accepted uh, his crime he has not accepted that why he participated in those particular uh, uh, Kerala train burning case uh, so so after that, the probe will be initiated. Uh, they are still identifying that what all criminal records this person particularly carries. Okay, all right. So as the Kerala ATS team uh, is in the national capital, they are also said to be speaking to the family members. And there are a, a few indicators of involvement. Remember, the officials have, as of now, said he's not an accused, he's only a suspect. But Priyank, uh, coming across to you as a Kerala, ATS police are at his residence. They're looking at a few facts that have come to the fore as of now. One, that there were six phones that he was uh, said to be using. That was on surveillance. Apart from that, his family being members being asked on where he was in the last uh, five days. Uh, yes, certainly the team uh, is leaving from here. Sir, have you identified that he's the same person? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Is he the same person, sir? Sorry, 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 sorry. Sir, uh, why have you been coaching the family member? Because the faces are so looking similar, sir. Is he the same person? Just that clarification, sir. Sir, any association with another organization which has been found, sir? Sir, just confirm whether he's the same person or not. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, oh, the day you heard uh, the Kerala team, uh, ATS team is leaving from here, what uh, they are saying, Pratibha, uh, that they cannot confirm. Uh, but uh, obviously, obviously uh, the senior official will be doing that. If at this location from where we have been reporting, uh, there have been multiple searches which were carried out by the Kerala police and uh, we will be tracking them. Uh, what we also got to know that uh, once uh, this uh, particular suspect was identified, uh, the team officials uh, came here last evening only and they started questioning the family members. Uh, primarily what they are focusing on, that whether they have been more associated of Shah Rukh or not, uh, because the manner in which this person, uh, the linkages of uh, the Kerala attacker with uh, the uh, Shahin Bagh, 
Shahduk, who was missing since the uh, 31st of this month, and the family members actually gave a complaint on 2nd of this month, is uh, very, uh, you know, important to be seen. Uh, so that is uh, one thing which the Kela ATS is also looking at. So these are the exclusive visuals of the Kela ATS team, uh, which is uh, still moving in and around the area of Shahin Bagh, uh, because uh, time and again, uh, we have seen that uh, multiple uh, you know, suspects have also been identified uh, belonging to the same location. We know that uh, this is the area which has been the prime focus for the multiple anti-terror agencies and time and again there have been searches which have been carried out uh, at this location. Uh, once uh, we have we got to know that the AC8 ADS team was here, uh, we came here and uh, this, uh, from Maharashtra, uh, the Maharashtra ATS which finally managed to arrest uh, uh, Shah Rukh, our colleague Shivani has also confirmed, uh, we'll stick to the visuals, our uh, colleague Shivani has confirmed that uh, it's the same uh, Shah Rukh who was missing uh, from the national capital in Shahinbagh area. Now the police team officials are moving towards the uh, local police station. The family's coaching has been over. Uh, what they, we also got to know from the locals in the area uh, that uh, he was uh, having a good character. He never had any kind of altercation with any of, uh, uh, the, uh, any of the, the, the people here in and around. And uh, while talking about the suspects, the the police officials were also trying to locate that whether he is the same person or not. But finally, once it has been confirmed, the ATS team is uh, moving from here. Will be strict uh, visuals uh, uh, of the Kela police team, which is now moving towards the police station here in Shahin Bagh. This is a major, major development. We have been tracking all uh, the raids which have been carried out by the Kela ATS. We were there in Bulanshan yesterday. We got to know that the ATS team of Kela had apprehended one person whose name was uh, Shah Rukh Saifi. And Shah Rukh Saifi was uh, released after questioning in the joint interrogation by the, with the UP ATS and the Kela ATS. Now, the team of officials are moving towards the police station. So this is a major development which is happening in the case where the Kela ADS team, which had come here to Shahin Bagh after the arrest of the suspect who was arrested from uh, from uh, from Maharashtra, while he was traveling back to Maharashtra, he was apprehended. And while reporting from the ground, we can sense that the team of officials have already questioned the family members, Pratibha. The team is right now moving towards the local police station. So the linkages of this shooter, uh, I'm sorry, this uh, particular suspect, uh, with with person who was staying in. Uh, Shahin Bagh area of uh, Jamia is one of the most important things. We know it for the fact that the NIE has already uh, told it to the Times at work that uh, once uh, the terror angle is uh, found out, they will pitch into the case and the case will be proved by them. But uh, the official from Cochin of the, uh, in Kerala uh, from the NIA had already gone to the spot. They have done their forensic investigation and now the team of officials moving to the police station after questioning the family members is the most important thing which is happening in this case. Our colleagues from Keral as well as from Maharashtra have been reporting on the story. We'll stick to the videos and we'll show you that how the team of officials were here in Shahin Bagh, carried out searches, carrying out, out operations very silently after they got a tip off that suspect would be the same one who was in the attack which happened inside the train in Kozikori. Back to you. Big story broken only on Times Now. A Shaheen Bagh linked to the Kerala arson case. The officials, of course, being extremely tight-lipped because of the sensitivities in the case, Priyank. Uh, but the officials are going to be looking at whether he was indoctrinated. Are there more associates involved with him or not? Uh, to uh, you know, talk about the incident. He has been missing from 31st, is what the police officials believe. Uh, and three people were killed and several others sustained burn injuries after a suspect splashed an inflammable substance inside the compartment of a train and set it ablaze. So the police officials are looking at whether this suspect who stays in Shaheen Bagh had visited Kerala, whether he was directed to do so. These are some of the inputs that the officials are looking at, but they are not revealing the exact link or any confirmation not yet coming in from the officials. Uh, see, the presence itself, itself establishes because if uh, they have been looking for someone who is again similar to the identity of uh, the Shah Rukh Saifi, who was a prime suspect in the uh, Kedal attack case, then certainly they would not have been carrying out their searches till now. Because uh, what uh, we also got to know that uh, uh, the police officials were 
looking for similar kind of suspect. Now, uh, the latest update which is coming up that uh, the officials have come back to the Shahinbagh police station where they will be camping here for some more time period. The Delhi police team was already assisting them. The Delhi police was also looking for the possibility that whether he was the same suspect for which uh, multiple agencies have been looking at. Uh, but uh, time and again, uh, this was a speculation which has been ruled out by our colleague Shivani Mishra, uh, where the, from the Maharashtra ADS, the agency uh, which has arrested the suspect uh, from Maharashtra, has confirmed to the Times Network that the suspect, the person who had gone missing from 31st of last month, and the persons come missing complaints uh, according to the DD number two of the okay. Shahinbagh Police Station 23 number, the, order, uh, the copy which we all also have, it clearly establishes that he uh, could be the same person. Uh, it's just a matter of fact that when the Kerala police officials did officially give uh, the detailed account of what were the reasons because of which he could have carried out this attack, whether he was associated with any terror organization, whether he was a self-indoctrinated person, okay. who were the people who with whom he was in touch with because uh, as you remember, there was the mobile handset which was found from the location the sim card was uh, taken out from the mobile phone and the mobile was last used on 30th on 31st the suspect fled away uh, from uh, okay. Shahinbagh uh, the family gave a complaint uh, two days after the incident hmm. so the sequences are certainly matching to okay. each other Pratibha okay all right so multiple states multiple agencies that are involved there are six to seven eyewitnesses in the case and there's exactly one suspect as of now being arrested by the police officials sensational details coming in thanking Priyanka and Vivek for joining us with those